frame spacing uh, versus low temperature. When you have your nuke that you get from us, you have five frames that are in that nuke. And if your temperatures are consistently going below 50 degrees any time during the day, um, mostly that's going to be at night, you're going to keep all five of those right together and keep your empty or blank frames on the outside. That way you're able to keep that cluster of bees in the center of, of the hive where they can keep warm. So if you try to put new foundation and frames in between there and the temperatures are below 50, you'll have what's called chalk brood. This is what it will look like, um, not at the, uh, at the for day one, this is like three, four, five days out. And you'll start seeing these being thrown out of the front of the hive. When the morning comes, the bees will, will be taking these, these dead uh, pupa out, outside of the hive. This white larva and pupa will be carried out and you've lost that round of brood. They can't keep all the brood warm if you make that, that cluster wider and there's just not enough bees to keep it warm. And so that's why you want to keep all five frames together. Now, if you're into days where it's above 50 degrees, then what you'll want to do is do, do a checkerboard. It has now been one week, and it's time to begin the manipulation of the hives um, frames that we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on ahead and get the outside empty frames. I'll put this one right here. And what I'm going to do next is get this one out of this side. Now we're going to move the clean frame to the outside. We're going to move the next frame over that has all the bees and drawn out. Move this one over because this one's all drawn out. And then we're going to start inserting frames again. We're going to just move these over just a hair so that we don't roll a queen and damage her. All right, now we're going to tighten it up. So now what you will see is we have, we have a clean, we have bees drawn out comb on this frame, clean, drawn out comb. And this one right here is where we're going to put our last frame in. All right, so now we have an odd even type except for this last one here. And in this case, since it's not going below 50 degrees at night, we will pull this out and move over our last frame that has all the bees on that one there. So now it's an odd even type of checkerboarding is what it's officially called, where we have clean frame, drawn out, clean, drawn out, clean, drawn out, clean, drawn out, clean, and drawn out. There's some science behind this, folks, that allow the bees to comb this out much more quicker. If you do it like what we started out with, it will take a lot longer for those bees to draw out each of those frames. So now, the next thing that we're gonna do is button this up, and we're gonna allow a week to go by, and then we'll be back in here again and just see how the drawn out comb is. And we'll go ahead and put the inner cover on very slowly so we don't kill any of the bees. And then the last thing that we want to do, folks, is put the outer cover on and we are good to go. Now, before I do that, always remember to put your vent on the front of the hive here. And that's what we've got. Now it's time to put the outer cover on and these are in for the next week.